<laughs> I'm happier now than what I was previously, where I've previously been, and what I've previously done in my life. The script normally goes like, hello, can I speak to a Mr or Mrs? It's whatever name you choose. And then they'll go, yes, hello. And I'm like, hello, my name's Amy. I'm calling on behalf of the UK Energy Centre. How are you doing? And they'll tell me how they're doing and we'd carry on. Um, and then I get to the next part of the script and would say, now the reason I'm calling you today it's just because of the recent announcements on the TV media about electric, electricity companies increasing the price for electricity. Apparently it's gone up 50%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else? I'm now living in Leyland with my boyfriend, who I've been on and off with for over a year and a half. Leon's previous problems of mis like misbehaving was the biggest one was skiving school because he used to sky school all the time, every day. And one there was like this one time last year he was off for like three months and he was hiding, going out in the morning with his uniform on and then wouldn't come back. And come back at like four and even go to my nan and granddad's and pretend he's gone to school with his uniform on. Oh yeah, and there was this other time when Leon was skiving. He made a hole in his divan bed a nice perfect square. When he's got in it, he's took his quilt with him on a pillar and he's perfectly sat the divan like fabric was over it. He's put it back so it looked like it didn't even open. He stressed everyone out. On the microphone I'm wearing, oh, it's set to three. On the camera, it's set to one notch. On the sound devices, from 12 o'clock, and on the other radio box, we're on one slight nudge up with the screwdriver that's provided. I'm planning on leaving the job because I found that working for Eco Solutions is not the job for me because I feel like when I'm on the phone to people, especially people who are older and they've retired because we do our, our age range between 30 and 75, so to me, it feels like a vulnerable age to attack people for like a £9,000 solar panel system where you only get 4.6p for every kilowatt you use. It doesn't seem fair. So I want a different job in any job, whatever else I can do that isn't blagging people on the phone. I've been living here now for over two months, just, just over two months. <laughs> the advice went funny then. Just over two months, I've lived here. We are now on the Sony device. I've been working. <laughs> I don't like the job. Um, if we sell solar panels, but what I do, personally, I just ask, I like to say hello and blah, 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 and I just try and feed them in and then I transfer it as a bite. So that's when I've asked the questions and they've like agreed to, for me to phone them back within five or 10 minutes. And then I pass them through to the colleagues and I get a bite for that. Trying to recap from where I've just so left. I want to go back into a sewing, either making quilts or something again, because I enjoyed that the most. But I really hate blagging people on the phone. And we only ring people between an age of 30 and 75. If they're older than that, we don't do it, but they're still pensioners, some of them, in the 70s. And it's like my nan and granddad's age, and it doesn't feel nice, because I, I sympathise with them too much on the phone. I want the Explorer, battery-powered. We're on. We are on 5 to 11 on the sound device. Three on the mic that I'm currently wearing. I'm trying to get socked at a job because it feels like I'm blagging people because we pick an age range between 30 and 75. I currently work in a place called Solar Panels, but they call themselves the UK Energy Centre to cover their backs. Doesn't feel legit, doesn't feel right what I'm doing. My little brother's been a little shit. Keeps skiving school and there's this time where he's cut a hole in his bed and hid under it but he's quilt over the top and we had to phone the police. 
It's terrible. But I hope he does improve since I've left, because I'm now I live in Leyland. Oh. Next, you'll know, you'll, you'll meet Sophie Cotton. She, wor she previously worked with me, but walked out of the job last week because of how bad it is with the way they speak to us in the, the end. Sennheiser, 416. I'm trying to get that for my place because I feel like I'm blagging to people on the phone. They call themselves a UK Energy Centre, but you're not allowed to say they're really called the Eco Solutions, which I think is dodgy. I think the solar panels is dodgy. You only get a 4.6p refund on every kilowatt. It's a fucking shit job. Leon's a little shit. He keeps skiving school, but I hope he's not been skiving. Last time he skived, he made a hole in his bed, climbed in it, put his quilt against it. We had phoned the police. I thought he ran off, but he wasn't. He was just under his bed. <sighs> My dad is born in Gibraltar, which is in Spain. Isn't it? I'm originally from Glasgow, then I moved here when I was three with my mum. To Leyland? Yep, yeah, to Leyland. So I've basically been here all my life. I'm 19, nearly 20. <laughs> 22nd of June, 1997. I'm waiting a week to start my job, but I'm going to be a supervisor in Yates's, a bar, which is quite cool. And for this week, I'm just going to chill out. <laughs> and what's your hobbies? Uh, a dance. What kind of dance? Latin and ballroom. All of it. Been doing that since I was three years old. I did ballet when I was younger, but I broke all my toes, so I had to stop doing it. <laughs> I did it at Leyland in a school called Darcy's Dance Academy, I think it was. <laughs> Did you like it? No, it was horrible. Why? They like, they were too, like, competitive and serious about it. I'm not a very serious person, so it just didn't work well with me. <laughs> a tights, then ballet shoes, but then there's the soft ballet shoes and then the hard toe ballet shoes, and then a leotard, and sometimes a tutu if we're practicing. What colour was that? It was all pink. Yeah. I don't really like it. I speak a bit of French, <laughs> but that's about it. Yeah, I've got two little brothers and two little sisters. They're called Rachel, Ruby, Josh and Jacob. My dad's from Glasgow and my mum is from Chorley. Yeah, Chorley's a shit hole. <laughs> drugs. Yeah. So I drink with my good mate Amy quite a lot. I see her quite a lot since she moved here. She's the apple to my eye. <laughs> where did you meet her, mate? Met her when she started working, where I used to work. Yeah, there is positions. There is um, parallel, then there's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And it's the same with some ballroom dancers as well. They've got the same positions. Fun facts for you there. It's in Denton in Manchester and it's called Fusion Dance Academy. Oh, right. I do photography. Mainly do portraiture, but I also do urban landscape as well. Uh, do you want to hear my Liverpool accent? Yeah, I do. A bowl of coke and a curly whirly for some trainees. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> John Bubble of Coke and a Curly Whirly for some trainees. <laughs> I can do a Glasgow accent. Yeah. I'm from Scotland, they like eat Easter eggs. Oh. oh, why, hello there, darlings. Well, you know, I'm brought up in quite a posh family, so. But of course, like, I have to talk quite poshly in front of my grandmother. It's all happening and it's all going on. Times it ends. It is early. Eight o'clock, is it? I can take my tablets in like five minutes. When 
I did ballet, I was four. It was really strict, like you don't want a four-year-old to go. Teacher's name was something like Denise or something. Wouldn't recommend when your child or mother thinking about taking a child there ever. I wore like this horrible pink leotard that didn't look right on me because I'm ginger and white and this tutu that was disgusting. I went every Thursday and Saturday. My mother was the person that made me go there. <laughs> I tell you what, I hate her every second of the day for it, right? Some mothers out there be warned, your children, even at four years old, will hold grudges for taking them ballet. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> Ha 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 